essence sweet children always remember your surname you are godly children and your clan is the godly clan you are even more elevated than the deities and so your manners have to be very royal question the father had made you children into oceans of love similar to himself what indicates that you children became as loving as the father for this is why everyone loves the images of your memorials devotees continue to look at images of deities with love lakshmi and narayan are always cheerful and smiling you know that baba is now making you very very sweet with this knowledge and yoga let jewels of knowledge constantly emerge from your lips song you are the ocean of love we thirst for one drop om shanti in whose praise do they sing you are the ocean of love this is not the praise of a human being it is said you are the ocean of love the ocean of peace and purity at this time your surname is brahma kumars and kumaris and that you are godly children the golden age is established through the gita the ocean of knowledge the supreme soul gave the knowledge of the gita all of you rivers of knowledge have emerged from the ocean of knowledge whoever receives godly knowledge is called a brahma kumar or kumari a soul cannot be seen with the physical eyes but you can feel that there is a soul in you you are now becoming charitable souls from sinful souls ba- brahma baba gave everything to the mothers and made them trustees the mothers had to be made to go ahead the father says salutations to the mothers you are becoming like lakshmi and narayan people love them so much they are called her holiness and his holiness you say that you now belong to the godly clan and that you previously belonged to the devilish clan the father says i am the world almighty authority i am the highest on high the incorporeal one the supreme soul is establishing that one world almighty authority deity kingdom of lakshmi and narayan the destruction of everyone else is just ahead let there be that much intoxication when you become body conscious you are slapped by maya you won't be slapped when you become soul conscious deity world sovereignty is your god fatherly birthright you children should have divine manners you have to speak to give lectures but you must not but you must not engage yourself in wasteful matters although you have those physical eyes only see heaven and the incorporeal world it is you souls that receive an eye of knowledge you souls study through the organs each of you has received a third eye of knowledge you cannot differentiate between right and wrong unless you have a third eye the father gives the inheritance to brahmins not to shudras ravan makes you follow the wrong path and the father makes you follow the right path you must constantly pick up virtues from one another you must not pick up defects instead of virtues you receive strength by remembering the father the father also becomes pleased simply to su- simply to sit in peace is not real happiness that is temporary happiness if you sit down in silence how would you able to be perform actions your sins will be absolved by having yoga look in the golden age there was just the one religion and one kingdom it was an undivided kingdom there was no other religion for there to be any conflict that was the kingdom of rama only then was there peace in the world later when there were many religions there was peacelessness you children are guaranteed that your kingdom is being established you have this intoxication many people will come when they see the splendor of the museum they will go inside and be amazed it is the task of the father alone to establish peace in the world 
and to give liberation and liberation in life. You should churn the ocean of knowledge in this way and explain the points. It is a wonder how people remain immortal in the land of immortality. There in the golden age people have a long lifespan and they leave their bodies naturally when it is time just as you would change the dress. Essence for dharna Make your nature very sweet and peaceful. Speak very little and with royalty. Remain a trustee of your body, mind and wealth just like Father Brahma did. Blessing May you be a Mahavir who is able to pass in every adverse situation in a second with the powers of knowledge and yoga. May you be a Mahavir who is able to pass in every adverse situation in a second with the powers of knowledge and yoga. A Mahavir means to be a constant light and might house. Knowledge is light and yoga is might. Those who are full of these powers are able to pass in every adverse situation in a second. If you develop the sanskar of not passing at the right time, that sanskar will then not allow you to pass fully in the final moments. Those who pass fully at the right time are said to have passed with honors. Even Dharamraj honors such souls. Slogan Burn the seed of vices in the fire of yoga and you will not be deceived at any time. Burn the seed of vices in the fire of yoga and you will not be deceived at any time.